What is up, fight fans and cannabis activists alike? We're back with another featured edition of My Marijuana Chronicles, where we speak with some of the industry experts and people within the cannabis business, if you will. You know what I'm talking about. In this edition, we speak with some of the masterminds behind Focus V. I'm speaking with Barry Poppins from Focus V, one of the OG reps and current UFC welterweight Max Payne Griffin joins us on the call as well. You've seen him on social media. He reps their products, the Carter 2 particularly, and uh, he does a fantastic job doing it. They uh, they were kind enough, Focus V was kind enough to send me this sleek, absolute unit of an e-rig, and it sets the standards for new e-rigs, man. We talk all about it and uh, almost like a a McDonald's-ish type of feel if, you know, Max Payne Griffin was to talk about his settings, everything that goes into his Carta 2, we get all of his favorites for the Carta 2 from Focus V and much more. So before I get into it, I got to thank my guests for joining me, Barry Poppins from Focus V and UFC welterweight Max Payne Griffin. What's going on, gentlemen? How are we? Great, bro. Living the life. <laughs> I'm good now. I can feel your uh, sativa energy across the country. I'm loving it. That's it, man. I see when when two great energies combine, the sativas, the indicas, we make the hybrid and we make it work. But, uh, man, it's a pleasure, man. Focus V, you guys are doing something special, man. Like I said, and I told you guys before the interview, when I got the Carta 2, or sorry, the Carta 2 in the mail, it was like Santa Claus coming on Christmas Day. I couldn't get down to the mailbox quick enough. I couldn't get the the, the app set up quick enough. I couldn't get into dabbing quick. It was, dude, it was like Christmas Day, man. So you guys are doing it big. Fantastic product. The only thing that could make it better is if it was Hanukkah, you know? <laughs> you know what? And the, you know what? I love that dichotomy because my wife just so happens to be Jewish. So, you know, well, we got Santa Claus, we got, we got, we got Monica Harry. We're good. It's lit. Eggs. That's it, man. We got a uh, Christmas cut in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Anyway, there you go. Festivus. But um, so like I told you guys, great marketing team, your Instagram, you guys sold me Max Griffin's, his video sold me on it. It made me really want to get the piece in itself. So Cool. What when you guys go into your social media settings and you know you you dig into that aspect of things, what makes you what 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 pushes that button to make, make you where the ideas spring from better? For for the device? For the device, for the ideas, for everything that you guys are pushing out, where are these flourishing ideas just, come from? I just from the marketing, but um I mean I think when you talk about the device, you talk about rosin tech first because Sam and Rosentech predate Focus V and Rosentech um, was one of the first, if not first company to put out rosin presses mm. um, in the cannabis industry about nine years ago ish, eight, eight or nine years ago. And the affinity for hash and making non-solvents hash led to the obvious uh, doorway to create a device for this hash to be smoked. So you're making the hash on a press and you can smoke it in the Carta. Um, in addition to the rosin presses, uh, just a, a large cannabis presence with, with the company. Um, I'm actually in the office now, distribution of glass, headies, always going to events, seeing what's trending and uh, wanting to innovate and create something that makes dabbing a little easier and more user-friendly for people uh, is the genesis. Um, for myself, uh, you know, I, I worked at WeMaps for six years. I've been in the industry for 11 years and, uh, you know, we're modern legacy people. We haven't been, you know, we're not old enough to have been doing cannabis stuff for, you know, 20 or 30 years legally, but, or illegally, but pretty much more of my life has been in cannabis than not. And the same could be said for a lot of our team and, and, and Sam as well. So I want to talk about your team and when it goes into making these absolutely phenomenal pieces, when the dichotomy of this piece in itself, you can use it for oil, you can use it for flour, um, the LED lighting patterns. I mean, everything, the tech that we'll get into, but what are some of your focal points when you guys are, you know, hitting the, the, the room to spitball ideas, the war room, when you're spitballing ideas to create the next big product, what are some of the, the main focal points you guys go over? what the streets want, you know, <laughs> uh, what's, <laughs> what's, what's hot, you know, what, what, uh, what's going to innovate and what's going to give people something they don't have already and uh, be compatible to kind of the brand ethos. Which I want to throw it, which is, which is like, you know, dab smarter. It's a smart rig. So 
what's going to be the smartest way for can, uh, consumers to connect with cannabis concentrates and, and smoke. You know? Now I want to throw it over. I'm going to go back and forth because I got both of you, Max, what, what made you fall in love with focus V you were the Carta OG lover, as I understand now you're repping <laughs> yeah, the yeah, card, yeah. the Carta too. So what made you want to rep their brand so hard? Really? Um, I like being efficient, you know, um, and <clears throat> My my weed tolerance is really high. I mean, it, there there's numerous reasons why I enjoy dabbing. Um, but I mean, it's concentrated. Uh, it gets you high quick, fast. Um, I tried dabbing a few times the old fashioned way. It's it's just too much. It's just too much for me um, by myself. I mean, I'll go somewhere and someone could, um, you know, bring out the torch and measure everything and you know you know, wait on the temperature and gauge it. And I'll do that. But for me, um, it's too rough. So when I discovered, um, the Carta that, that, that you could take it on the go, it's small, it's portable, it's easy to use. And then all these different flavors and the the stuff tastes good and you get ripped, loaded, ripped. I also go a lot in the public a lot, you know, I don't always want to smell like I smoked a blunt, you know, so it's discreet, you know, um, numerous. I could talk all day about about that. I understand. Now, speaking of the latest and greatest, I'm going to throw it back to Barry. You got the Carta 2. I have my jet black Carta 2 right here. It turned off because it was. There we you go. Back so on. Much. You love back that. on. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I do love it. I do love it quite a bit. Um. But again, so I got my Jet Black one right here. The the Carta Clear, it's sold out. You can't get it anymore. And now you guys have just dropped the uh, the colorways. You got the Mint, you got the Forest, you got the Midnight and the Grape. So there's Got something it. Nailed it. Something for everybody. And uh, obviously the Carta 2 is something special, man. It keeps going back to this Carta 2. So again, this piece is something for everybody. So tell us a little bit about why... The Carta 2 is so special. I mean, between, again, the, all the colors, they're flying off the shelves now. So from, the, from, from your eyes, from you guys, I want to hear it. Why do people love the, the Carta 2? It's fun. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun and it's, Max said, efficient. It's fun, it's efficient, it's easy to use. Mm. You, know? um, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out, but it also will make you feel like a rocket scientist because kind of a rocket scientist and JR designs it and puts a lot of love and, and energy into it every day and um, comes up with crazy ideas to enhance its, you know, appeal, sexiness, uh, along with the efficacy. Uh, you know, the light show is like your kind of your debt, your your rig kind of becomes a club, you know, with the lights. And then you can kind of put your like slogan or your uh or your uh, logo or anything that your picture of your dog, like a lot of us do on the device now with the, with the app. And um, it's just fun, you know? It is fun, man. Festive. I remember I went to, um, I think a 4th of July thing. I changed red, white, and blue. You know, I went to, I I did a Christmas. I had a red and green. So like you can have fun with it. I love it. You know, the, the temperature setting on the screen, just you can literally, let's say your dab isn't hot enough. You can literally turn it up a few notches while you're in your dab, which is something I do. Um, I think, you know, years ago, cannabis concentrates had a very scary connotation and it's a very approachable device. So, um, you know, we recommend for some people a setting in more like the 420 to 450 rate range. Some people hit it more like 480 to 500. I'll go as low as 400 personally. And and if it's not melting, just up it. So you can smoke it for flavor. You can smoke it if you want clouds and you want to get high. It's it's very customizable to your desires. Now, I told Max that this was coming up beforehand. So you just talked about the customizable (laughs) setting. So I thought about this one today, actually. And this was before you entered the chat, Barry. So I hope you like this one. All right. You know how... We always nowadays we're seeing those corny McDonald's commercials. They're always selling the celebrities and like the celebrity combo meals. I think right now it's Offset and Cardi B, whatever it may be. Well, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna dab like the celebrity. I wanna know what Max Payne Griffin settings are on his Carta Two, so I can dab 
like a UFC veteran, like Max Payne Griffin. I want to know what the celebrity settings are on the card of two of Max Payne Griffin. <laughs> Max, take it away. All right. I have two. I have two, and this comes on the basis. I don't know if it's true, but uh, most terpenes are the terpenes that you want to get um, combust. I think at 432 is what I heard. I don't know if that's true. That's kind of what I've kind of read um, without, you know, doing too much. But my my thing, my first setting is 440 for 40 seconds. 40 for 40 seconds? Okay. I'll I'll it down. Down. <laughs> My other one used to be 454. 454? For yeah. how many? For how long? For, for a minute. For one That was minute. my first setting. And then some of my homies were getting, trying to get on me. My turp homies were getting on me about how high my thing was. So then I, you know, did some research. Came up with 440. It's because I, I still like some kind of smoke, you know. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm not, not, I'm not doing five, six, seven hundred. No. Um, I still like the good taste and um, cloud. So for me, yeah, between 440 or the 454, get, get, you know, get that good milk flavor. I love it. I like your boy. I'm going to have to uh, take a video of myself doing that on a setting, put a little <laughs> edit, edit reel together, and then put that together. Now, since I asked Max Payne Griffin, I got to ask the cannabis connoisseur himself who's been in the game for over a decade. Barry, what are your settings? 420 for 45 seconds or a minute. Pretty basic. Uh, they call me baby ones, you know? So as long as I've been in the game for my lungs have been, you know, that of a baby. <laughs> so I'm not the uh, heftiest smoker, but I do smoke good hash and appreciate the flavor. Hey, nobody can hate on that. I cannot argue with that. So I hit one too many gravity bombs in high school, you know? It'll do it, man. It, <laughs> Those it'll were do the it. best. Those are the best. This is like the opposite of the – this is like the gravity bomb evolves. Uh, absolutely. 100%, man. Now – Getting into why you guys got into working with combat sports athletes, I see, you know, the social media reels, like I told you about <clears throat> Max Payne Griffin. He was one of the big ones that sold me on this beautiful piece as itself. Incredible talent who loves his botanicals. I know it. So what did Focus see in MMA and also just combat sports in general that made you want to work with practitioners? I mean, is it I want to hear the origin story better, better said. I mean, look, uh um... A lot of there's other fighters that have embraced cannabis. Um, you know, shout out to Nate Diaz, who's kind of the man, you know, smoked a joint after fights and everything. I think it's the only mainstream sport where like athletes are kind of not round upon for doing it anymore. And the league is kind of like loose with uh advertising. I know West Coast Cure and some other companies sponsor athletes in the scene. Um, it's just something that makes sense, you know, and also there's the medical aspects. You talk about brain injuries, fighting, literally every time you fight, you're putting your body on the line. And if you're not getting hurt, you're getting knocked the fuck out in the first minute of the fight. Correct. Yep. Max. The other guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? I said the other guy. The other yeah. guy. Max's yeah. opponents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Max can't physically get knocked out. It's like me. <laughs> it's like me not being able to take a big rip. It just doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, uh, there's efficacy. It's proven, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, Max, I want to ask, when did you, obviously everybody still to this day, I mean, we all still use it recreationally. Everybody yeah. who use, utilizes cannabis, sometimes they just kind of want to get the good feeling effect, but you are a prime in shape athlete at the, at the pinnacle of your career. So, I mean, you have to really focus in on use this medicinally too. So when did it transfer or when did that change go from recreational to really dialing in medicinally? I mean, really maybe when you saw to change the laws or uh, <laughs> <laughs> our drug test. Um, so you saw is United States anti-doping agency. Mm -hmm. um, they, they used to allow us to smoke. So we have two, two tests. We have in competition and out of competition, two different like time frames two different tests. Um, we were, we were originally allowed to, to smoke out of competition. That means like not the day of the fight. Um, basically. So, so you could, you, you know, you could have so much weed in your system unlimited, like, like a month before the fight, two months before the fight, but on fight night, 
we were allotted 150 ng per or ng per ml um which is three times like a probation test so like probation test is 50 ufc was 150 so they allowed us triple the threshold to pass which was generous um then lately i think last year year before um they changed the rules to where they will no longer test for um fight night weed so they will no longer test for marijuana for in competition test at all so that means you could be stoned during your fight technically um but so you saw it as like the 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 the, the governing body of the ufc right but if we go to different states to fight california texas florida florida zero tolerance weed so you'll pass a you saw the test but the commission will test you and you'll fail and you'll get suspended. So you, we have to have um, diligence and we have to know where we're fighting. Nevada is cool. Nevada honors that. Texas, no. So you have to know where you're going to fight. Because my last fight was in, I fought in Vegas, fought Tim Means, October 29th, while the new weed law was in effect, right? This is like my first fight with the weed flaw. So it was like... Th- I usually stop four weeks out. It was like four weeks. I was like, I don't know what I was going to do, you know? And then it was like three and a half weeks, three weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm like, do I need to stop smoking? I don't have to stop. So I smoked less. Um, I smoked less. And even on the way to fight week. I mean, it was like fight week, dude. I'm like, shit, am I going to bring some weed with me? What am I going to do? So I brought my pen. Um, I want to say I smoked till like Wednesday. But barely. I mean not like getting lit all day like um after training um yeah don't get me wrong i'm not just i am high most days um but um it depends what i'm doing you know if i'm headed to to game fit for instance to do s and c sprints and all that shit i am not smoking i'm gonna be sober um when i'm done yeah you know um before sparring yeah grappling yeah I, you know what i mean jiu-jitsu yeah i really think everything except uh game fit <laughs> i've smoked before um but you know helps my body i mean i'm we're always sore it's not like we're um we train a whole body we're mm-hmm. wrestling we're boxing we're doing jiu-jitsu we're running we're lifting weights we're sparring we're hitting the bike or swimming in the pool like i do everything like my body is like gets hammered so i need uh i need relief dude um and when i don't smoke is when i feel like shit man <laughs> you know i, I mean understand. we have endocannabinoids i mean we're so we have we're supposed to smoke or, or ingest cannabis somehow um i believe it i can't argue with you <laughs> now, <clears throat> Barry, I want to ask, man, the, the market lately, and we've talked about this previously, the, the market for e-rigs has absolutely skyrocketed these days, especially the past several years, with technology getting better and better each and every day. Obviously, it, it has to be a little bit tough to keep up with competition. <clears throat> so I got to ask, how do you guys keep your ears to the street, stay ahead of the curve, and in such a short amount of time, you guys have blasted, oh, I mean... You, you blasted well ahead of the game in the e-rig series uh opportunity uh and uh experience coupled with the device is good okay like you can't market something that isn't good no. uh, at this point in society it's you know it, it's hard to really connect with people if they don't like what you're doing so it makes my job easy uh my network my network and and the company's network in cannabis is pretty extensive doing this a while so connecting with influencers and connecting with people that can put it in front of millions of people when it's only a few texts away is pretty convenient (laughs) you know um not having to dm people not having to establish relationships i think that's why i was such a good fit for excuse me for um for this pro- project and why I, you know, I'm still excited about it. And we have a lot of work, more work to do, you know, so. understandable. Couldn't agree more, man. I want to break down some of the tech that I just previously mentioned in this fun sized little beast that we got here, the focus app. I mean, it, it, it sells itself. 
you can use it for the card OG. You could use it for the card of two. You can adjust the lighting, five various temperature settings you can lock in, has a puff counter. Let's not dare forget the screensaver for the card of two. The app, it's, it's loaded with tech. So I feel like I know the answer, but I need to hear it from you guys. Why is an app necessary these days? Because a lot of, play, a lot of pieces, they don't have it. It's definitely clutch, but I'm just curious. I want to hear it from your lips. Why, why the app is necessary? It's fun. I bet that's coming, huh? <laughs> the app? Yeah. Um, well, for the, for the LEDs, it's how you, the light show, that's to me mm. is the thing you, you need it for. You can't really customize what lights are coming into it. Sorry. I, I left outer space and I, I can't stand it. Hold on. I, I understand. I'm trying. <laughs> it, it, he came down, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it was. <laughs> he needs to take another hit from the car to two to blast off back into space. I'm thinking I'm going to get one. Uh, the app, you can you can adjust your settings on the app. Uh, you also get, I think, the coolest, the most. It's fun. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Let me get let me get back in outer space real quick. Um, the points, man. The XP, man. You stole my line. Yeah. You can, <laughs> It's like, you know, Super Mario World's hot right now. It's like, who can be the, the superest dabber, you know? How many times have you found yourself in first place, Max? Thought we're back. Man. <laughs> I don't know. I think I have like 1,500 on my thing now. I'm oh. one of them. I so had you, are, you're definitely in the top. Go ahead, Barry. I, some, some, one of my homies in Colorado is over 2,000, like... I mean, there's people that are hitting this thing 20 to 50 times a day. No, just no cap. <laughs> you think about 2,000. You, let me calculate. If you're doing 2,000 dabs, let's say in 200 days. That's, sorry. 2,000 dabs divided by 200. That's 10 a day. So. That ain't too bad. I have a high tolerance, but I don't know if I can handle that much. Uh, Max, what do you think? You you can handle ten a day? Can you handle ten I a day? I can get ripped. Bro. I can get ripped, bro. It depends how you're dabbing it. If you're dabbing it at a low temp, you can handle ten in an hour. You know, I've seen a kid dab. Literally, we did it. We did a man. I need to dig up that footage. We did like a twenty eight dabs later. He took like twenty eight dabs in like an hour and a half, and then went and got ice cream and drove home. Twenty eight dabs later. I love that concept. I might have to do do some and an adaptation of that in some sort. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I haven't executed on it fully, but I will. <laughs> so getting to play with the colors. Would you say? I'm sorry. Now that we have all these colors, I can even make it a little more fun, you know? Like Absolutely. So now that I've gotten to play and toggle with my card or two, you know, you find what suits your needs by just trial and error. That's the best what I find. But one of my favorite aspects of the pieces are the presets. Like I've said to you before, my wife, she she loves low temps. Due to the harshness, she can't really handle it. Some of my buddies, they like mid-range when they come over. I like a mid to high range just because I immediately, I just kind of want to blast off and be just, it's almost like why go walking when you can run and be done quicker? One of those type of things. Like, why would I want to walk three miles when it's going to take How like, high do you go? What do you go? How high do you uh, go? My temperature setting is usually, it was just a little bit above yours. So let me see what I have mine at right now. Do, 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 do. I think this is a great time for you to rip one up. I can. Why not? Fucking go, bro. Yeah, dude. Why? Let's all do one, right? We're all in the I building. Gotta, We're all in the room. Give me a minute, okay? Absolutely. Let me get. Some, I, let me get I think I'll, I'll I'll use this time. I'll cut and then do like one of those ding 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 ding, and just like a little like okay. edit uh, while we're all getting ready. I'll hit my pan. So I got I got a couple though. so i have mine set to 490 for a minute yeah just a little bit higher than yours. Not bad a little hot but like i said i was doing mine and they, my guy was like bro bro what you doing i'm like yo wait <laughs> But you know what? Since since I have your settings on file here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my 440 for 40. I'm gonna do my Max Payne Griffin. Let's do it. 440. 
Take this bitch down. It's funny though. Um, it depends what you hit, too, bro. We could talk about this on the thing. Um, but I have right. a Ros the Rosin Tech people sent me a press. Oh, I need to get a press. I don't have and a press I, yet. And I pressed I mean. some shit and smoked it, dude. I could only hit it like once, dude. Really? For real? It fucked me up. Yeah, it fucking had me fucking unpaused, dude. <laughs> 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 It had me like, like pause, like, um, like lung cut off, like, like, right. <laughs> like, like no joke, dude. <laughs> right now I got some, some diamonds and some sauce. Nice. So that's what I'm working with at the moment, but nice. Is my audio coming in? Okay. Yeah. I hear you, brother. All right, I'm sorry I don't have my headphones on. We literally fine. push this an hour. Uh, all right, I'm I'm hitting the new blue one. I am gonna hit it with uh, we. When you were gone, we established that I had my settings at 490 for one minute. Little hot, little long. So I'm gonna go to the Max Payne Griffin settings, the 440 for 40 seconds. All right, I'm gonna so do it to 440. Ooh, it's on 20 seconds. <clears throat> Not for long. Not for long. Griffin setting. Make sure I got my Carta app up, Baby ladies Griffin and gentlemen. Set. Absolutely. What I like to do is kind of hold on. I'm not even looking. Let's give you a little behind the scenes content before we do this. Hold on. This is this is how you do it right here. Yeah, man. This is how you can do it. Maybe maybe this is not how you do it. There we go. <laughs> Mm. Did Max already hit his? He has his pen. It's got pens. So what I'm I just... like to do is I like to double tap it, mm -hmm. so it's heating up. It's kind of my move with the saber, so it's already heating up. Then I glob it. Then by the time I drop it in, we're at three hundred. Ah, so let's not forget about the saber, the 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 heating knife that comes conveniently three clicks away with the light, which so, it, baby dude, let me, oh. let me tell you real quick how perfect the saber came in the other night. I came home from announcing a regional fight and my wife was in bed. She had to wake up. She had to open the next day at her restaurant. So I, you know, like we live in a condo so I had to kind of keep it pitch black, but I got the dab because I had that light right at the end, bam on my knife. So I might as well join you here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Only one cough because we're doing good. All right. Well, I have my Max Payne Griffin settings on right now. It's a good setting. It is. Tell me. <laughs> not too smoky, but enough smoke. There goes my day. It varies lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the not at the uh, the all you can eat buffet. Just on the dab the dab tools. That's Ugh. tasty, Max. That's tasty. I like that advice. Where do you get your hash from in Delaware? It depends, really. Fresh first date. Um, very randomly, I'll go to Columbia Care. I, I I usually just tend to stick with fresh and first date. They got to uh, they got up their game. I know they just got some rosin presses and shit, but I don't mean to bring us off topic. Oh. Rosin presses on topic. We're all here to talk about cannabis. Cannabis, it's all on topic, guys. For sure. Yeah, it's real smooth. Don't cough. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Um, I would like it. Uh, I think I would like a little bit more milkier, though. A little bit harder. You need to put some more stuff in. I don't even see your. I don't even see anything in your thing. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you don't challenge me to you a good time. Need more material. <laughs> don't challenge me to a good time, Max. I know on on right. four forty, my thing be smoking. Let's see here. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Did you find out when your next fight is? Uh, no. Oh, um, Looks like you might not be telling the truth. Well, oh. my my 
my brother got a fight today. So we both have to fight news? at the same time. <laughs> Anthony Hernandez. He's fighting Anthony Hernandez? No, Anthony Hernandez is my brother. Um, oh, 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 my Mexican brother from out here. Yeah, Fluffy. He's, he's, a a he's, he's, he's I just said, sorry, he's your homie, and you guys fight at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, who's he fighting? Can you drop it on us? Say. Understandable. It's a good, it's good though. I like it. So you're waiting for call, is what you're saying. He told me this morning, yeah. But we usually fight like around the same time. So. When's this fight? May. Damn, no 420 fight for you. Yeah, his well, his is in May. Not mine. But. So while I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up another one since Max challenged me to a good time. Um challenge. I wish I had mine. <laughs> since he challenged me to a good time. Oh, you can't even Deb. I guess he's doing one for you. I, I you know what? We got to take one for the team. This one's for Max Payne Griffin. Yeah, this one's but, for uh, me. <laughs> But uh, so since I have both of you again, uh, I want to ask you guys, obviously you guys have a working relationship that it's fantastic. So working together, what makes this relationship gel so well? Obviously, it's a two part question. It takes two parties to answer. Max, I'll start with you. Barry, you can follow. <laughs> well, like Barry said, you know, that I'd hit him before, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, no, but very solid, man. Yeah, Barry came over. And we chopped it up and talked. And I've been, yeah, Barry is solid, man. Ever, ever since um I've met him, like, he's been a fucking thousand percent genuine. And he's fucking smart dude. Gets business done. Fucking. Thank you. He's solid, man. I don't know. <laughs> fucking straightforward, you know? Like, doesn't bullshit. Says what he wants. Fucking easy. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I mean, Max is just, like, really fucking good at making content. Like, uh, and I'm a sucker for good content. So, you know, that's what it is, you know? <laughs> Thank you, man. No, he said he bought it. He saw my video and bought that shit. Like, no, I well, mean, um, I, 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 I mean, didn't necessarily what? buy it. It got sent to me, and I'm, I'm reviewing it. And, you know, so it uh, – but it sold me on it. I was going to buy it, and then Eric from My MMA News got it sent to me. So it was – yeah, no, I mean, I just, I just really love content. Like, to me, like, my life is, is just, like, about content. Like, when I'm not chilling and laid back, like, I just want to be around people that can amplify content and, you know, uh, touch people and, like, you know, <laughs> get to people and connect with them. <laughs> can you even say, can't say no homo. I'm sure you can't say touch people anymore. That's 40K. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No homo. Uh, probably get more views, yeah. right? <laughs> um. So, yeah, what Barry say? <laughs> oh man. So, uh, uh, yeah, content is king. You know, uh, in this yeah. industry, like I, I'm, I want to take the, this thing as content gold. We have barely scratched the surface of this planet I'm on with content gold, and um, we will be delving deeper into the multiverse of cannabis content with Picarda in 2023. Um, and uh, Max is going to be a big part of it. I, um, I want to do more highly produced content, like, you know, studio style, where perhaps other, I don't want to say too much, you know, but like, I, I got some good ideas, and um, you know, it Max reps it to the fullest. It's 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 his it's his shit, you know. So well, if you're ever looking for a high energy announcer, ring announcer, you know, the dopest announcer in the game, I got the East Coast on lock. So hey, I'll do Max's introduction for any any focus V commercials going forward. Yeah, I think we have to <laughs> uh, I think we have to get you a uh, just email me or, or text me whatever color you want, and we're gonna have you do some voiceovers like immediately. Like, oh, dude, stop. anything you want, anything, anything, anything I can help, I will mumble down. Are you ready you to? You guys, bro, yeah, you I will send you. I will send you some of my announcements, and uh, I think you will be highly pleased. I think you'll be highly pleased. I mean, you had me at like your second line, you know, like I was like, yeah, I can fuck with this, I can do this, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, my, my brain's just churning now, and after hitting that, it's just like, it's on fast forward right now. So <laughs> let's talk in the future, boys. Let's go. Oh yeah. All right. So, um, 
We spoke about what it takes to be a focus athlete earlier. Obviously, Max Payne, he brings it to Focus V. So do you guys, are you looking to bring more sports, you know, athletes, any more combat sports uh, athletes to the table? And I'm asking this only as far as like, what does it take to be a focus fighter? Are you talking to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to yeah, fight. <laughs> what does it take, really to, what does it take to be a focus fighter? Be a I had a really good idea team. about, about like, milkshakes. Um, what, you got to be Max. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you actually have to smoke hash and, like, be, like, or it doesn't work. You know, people can tell if you're not actually into hash so if, if you're like we had a big wwe fighter hit us up around pretty early on when we released it and he like he was he's cool he's he's cool he's got a pretty big following but he is like and i think he smokes weed but he's like i can only post like cbd i'm like bro what the fuck am i gonna do with that <laughs> you know <laughs> no one wants to see you getting high and not getting high on cbd so if you're smoking cbd you're out. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the number one Fred flag right there. Yeah. CBD is not allowed. No CBD. I'm Team Carta. <laughs> uh, have you? Have you? What do you guys think when you guys see the the Delta Eight shatters and the CBD shatters? All that stuff. What are your thoughts on that? I mixed feelings. I think in states like Florida and certain places in the country, like. It's kind of nice that at least people can get Delta Eight and edible, which kind of will fuck you up. Now, do I know if this is good for you or safe? I don't know. I, I don't know. Hmm. Do I think people should be capitalizing on loopholes to make tons of money on sketchy shit? No, but that's been going on for a long time. So yeah. who am I to say that? Snake until you make it, not my style, but whatever. It, it, Snake oil, I mean, CBD is gray area to me in and of itself. I mean, there's a reason I'm in the THC business. Mm -hmm. You know, there's drawbacks to it. But at least I know it's not like anything that it doesn't say it is. You know, transparency is important to me. So, yeah, Delta A is a tough one. I think like there's, you know, at least it's giving people access. Is that access safe? I don't fucking know. Yeah, Delta A's, you know... <clears throat> I haven't dealt too much of it. It's, it's, it's a little gray area, like they say. Um, CBD. I do have my own line of CBD. I take it for my body as well. Um, you know, roll on that kind of stuff. But I would not smoke it or put it in a Carta or put Delta 8. Oh, CBD or... creams, CBD creams, lotions. There's efficacy. Yeah. Just smoking CBD flour or like smoking, yeah. smoking that. Like Yeah. Wow. What, 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 why, why would anyone do that? It's like hemp, you know. It's not going to affect you. Like maybe it'll like relax you a little bit, but like um, yeah, I've never smoked CBD. I don't think I'm well, I, I think CBD to to works best if you're consuming THC. It's been proven. It's the catalyst oh, yeah. or the entourage effect. The entourage effect, yeah. And, um, one of some of the best strains for concentrates are like twenty percent CBD and like six percent THC because you don't you just seven ten labs had like this crazy strain called Tester fifty one that like. I, you know, was one of those strains. So I think people actually need to make more strains like that. Like, cause they tell me and I'm not always trying to get high. I'm just trying to sometimes do something to chill, you know? Yeah. Understandable. Now back to the, the Carta and Focus V in itself. <clears throat> I want to talk about, is there any plans for additional chambers, interchangeable parts? <clears throat> I've seen some custom glass blowers and uh, glass people online. I'm not going to drop any names or anything. Cause I follow a couple but um, that they make adaptable parts for the Focus V. But, I mean, you guys, you have the, the multicolored globes that are absolutely stunning. So any interchangeable parts, anything uh, anything in news coming up? We got some cool stuff coming soon. <laughs> and we'll uh, leave it at that. <laughs> I think you might see something around the time the Masters comes out that's going to be pretty cool. Um, there's a hint for you um i'm working on i've been working on a couple of things for a long time that i hope to see come to fruition um we definitely are going to turn it up with the headies this year i think it's now that we have the color launches and um and the, you know behind us we can focus on some of the more you know novelty fun stuff you know 
Now, I'm going to ask you to toot your own horn, if you will. What sets you guys apart from other brands that are doing similar things? Because obviously, like I said, the E-Rig community is huge right now. What sets you guys apart? Authenticity, just like being a part of the streets, like going to events every every week and weekend in LA. We have an amazing team, uh, a culture of content, so to speak, a culture of cannabis. Like this is not people's, you know, day jobs. It's their day and night jobs. It's their lives. People that have been in the industry for a while, team in New York, holding it down. Like there's a dispensary opening. The first dispensary is opening in New York. People are there with a Focus V booth just within 48 hours because Bobby's cousin had a connection or someone hit him up and he figured it away when there's a will, there's a way. Um, you know, Sacramento for a Terp takeover in a place where there's no bathroom, but it's really cool and you can hang out. <laughs> Get a bathroom. Um, we're there, you know, no bathroom, no problem. We got dabs and <laughs> lots of them. Um, you know, uh, champs in Vegas, just there, that span of us going out, grassroots, small team, four of us will be out there. Look out for us uh, with Moxie and uh, high times and uh, we'll be out in the streets and we'll, it'll feel like we're everywhere, even though there's four of us, because like we're, we're there to connect with people and like just be real with people. You know, we're not, you know, we have a long way to go. We're just starting. This is just less than a year uh, with the car too. And um we're in this for the long haul, you know, we're not, we're not here to just pop in and say, what's up. We're here to like move in, meet the neighbors, break it in, you know, what's up, you know? I love it. And the piece in itself, like I said, it sells itself. So a couple more questions before I let you guys roll. <laughs> Max, I know you said that in previous interviews, I've done my homework. I know you're a foodie. So when you get done hitting the car to two and then you hit the kitchen, when two worlds combine, the cannabis meets the weedy. I mean, the weedy meets the foodie. Let's foodie. say, what do, what do we got? What do we got whipping up in the kitchen? Man, no. To be honest, I mean, I do make a lot of food. But my lady is the whipper, man. My lady can whip <laughs> everything, anything. Shout out to her, Stasia, man. She could, she could whip. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want, though. I mean, I make. I got my uh, smoker in the back, my Green Mountain Grill. I do a lot of it's like a Traeger, but it's I like it better. Um, but it's you know, I do me, I do whatever, uh, anything really, bro. But when I'm high, I don't like cooking. You know, I, I just like it. eat. <laughs> I just like eat. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, Barry, let's start winding it down, man. Tell the fans where they can get their Focus V, where they can get the Carta 2, anything they need from Focus V, the Sabre. Uh, obviously, the Carta 2, this fantastic bag, which it can kind of, it can double. I left I left my Focus V, my Carta 2 at home the other day, and I had to go to an event, and it doubled down as my camera bag, bro. So it is so multi-purpose. Wait, wait, wait. Open that, that up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no. <laughs> There we go. The camera bag. Yeah. It's, uh, if you, you know, uh, I, I sometimes, you know, you, you can put joints in it, your wallet, even use it as a slang purse, a purse, if you, if you will. Um, Focusv.com. That's it. Everything. The Sabre, the Carta 2, Carta Classic, accessories, tethers, uh, limited drops, you name it. We got it. Wireless chargers for when you're on the moon and you don't have an outlet. Or you're floating in space. I don't know where I am, but you got it. <laughs> Focusv.com. Focusv.com. Nothing is silent. I don't know. <laughs> and actually, one more thing I have for you. I'm curious. Uh, with uh, tons of other, you know, the competition out there, there's these the, the cheeky names, you know, I'm not going to name drop, but just so many cheeky names out there. Yours is just like, it's one of those. Focus V, Carta 2. Man, that demands respect. You know what I'm saying? Focus where does this... Where does, Carta Focus two. V, Carta 2. Man, that demands. Put some name on that. Put some respect on that shit. <laughs> where does it come where, where does Where does it come from? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, I think we're going to have to follow it up with the sequel and talk to Sam about that. I love it. I'll do it. I can't wait for it, man. I think I had way too much fun in this interview, and I think it was because of the Max Payne Griffin settings that blasted me <laughs> off. Gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure.